Hi, I'm Mr. Yaroslav. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but my name is Ron Campbell. I'm the inventor of the foster cane. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a regular cane. Okay, the foster cane, you've done reviews on those. The derby cane, the derby cane is a little bit different. The whole idea of a cane, number one, is to take pressure off a joint when someone needs surgery or needs to take it for obvious reasons in terms of pain or dysfunction they're working with in their body. Now the posture cane, I came out with that. I am the original inventor. I own the, the um, trademarks or some um, provisional patents that are probably out there. We're now working with the Chinese now to protect the manufacturers over there because so many people have knocked off our products. The new one we'll get into later. Okay, this is a basic posture cane. This is the posture cane. The ones that are shipped to us, okay. Amazon, eBay, Walmart, they change the names of the thing so they can protect the people selling them. What they do is though, so I order them from these companies. What do I get? I get my name all over them. I get violations of trademarks, all kinds of stuff. Totally illegal shit me into the country. You can't do that. It's, it's against the law. I'm not pushing people. I want to take and get people to work in a cooperation of doing this thing. But I want credit for this. If you're going to sell this handle, which is on the trademark, on the application, the trademark, and the traction tip, okay? What they've done is this. This tip right here, the one I've got, this one here is made out of real rubber. You can't do that on this plastic stuff that they're using now on the tips. Now, here's the deal. For the last five years, we've been testing this thing with a licensee. If the product gets delivered to me from someone else, what they're doing is that packaging and everything's got my name, violations of trademarks and everything written all over it. They can try to hide it however they want to, but we tested it by actually ordering them from these countries, companies, including the one that you said is number 10 as far as your list. We appreciate all the observations that you made or whoever it was that did that in the review. Now here's the thing. The posture cane is totally different biomechanics, and I'll get to the rest of the story later. What it does, and this is from doctors, we've dealt with every medical modality known to man for almost 40 years. Now the traction tip works out really well in terms of freestanding and stuff like that. It also is pretty good in terms of motion, but we've got stuff that's far better now coming down the track. It takes pressure off the wrist, off the shoulder, it tightens the tricep muscle, it forces you to walk more around. And the other thing is too, that's never been really tested in the engineering field, but we know because we had problems getting it shipped to the US five years ago in the first models, because they said, you only use 30% of the body weight. We have not pushed this feature yet. It's not something that we really ready to share because we haven't done the testing on it and no one really should. But we do know that for a fact it's true. Because when we found out, I said, whoa, an engineer came into my store one day. I used to own three furniture stores in, uh, up in Maine. And he said, what's this? And I made canes for George a., President George H.W. Bush. I revised Barbara Bush's walker. In the background, you'll see a walker, this one over in here. I actually did the same thing for her. I revised the thing. Her physical therapist was very happy. Dr. Ben Carson has one of my canes. Senator Marco Rubio and quite a few other interesting characters and figures in politics. They like them. We've had sports doctors, Dr. George Pascarello, you can look him up, he was one of my ongoing advisors. He got really nice letters and reviews, like a five-page review of going through the biomechanics of what we're working on. My point is this, the posture cane is not really a cane, okay? This is a whole thing that I set out to do. We knew that it was a transitional assisted device. We own the name, we own the trademark, all the pictures and everything that go with it, and I'm gonna show you what it is. And it's not out there yet, guy. So if you'd like to take and do a review on this, because a lot of cool stuff coming down the track right now and some very interesting heavy-duty players that really want to get my biomechanics out there. It's taken five years to get to a point where people really understand what the biomechanics is. I explained to you exactly how it works. It's a transitional device. People who need canes, they need canes. There's a reason for that. The doctors recommend it. But right up until now, there's never really been a transitional assistive device to take care of that. We're kind of like in between a walking stick and a cane because the biomechanics is different from some old martial arts training uh, down to a point where we're dealing with doctors. This is the posture cane. Nobody should be selling these things unless they're paying me to do it, basically, is what it comes down to. And they're not doing that. There's a lot of things that are coming down the track, and I suggest very strongly that people really review where they are with me.
to make me happy. Okay, now here's the other thing. I'm gonna show you something that's really not on the market yet. Is this one here. This one here, the tip, is totally unique. It's called the Flexi Tip. We have Chinese and US patents on this one. Our Chinese manufacturer is upset because they got knocked off before. I have my friendly dog coming to visit me right now. So, same biomechanics, but this is the real first introduction to a transitional assistive device. TAD, transitional assistive device. I guess you could call us a tad better. We're different. The whole biomechanics is the same as the posture cane, which was the test model for the transitional assistive device. The posture cane never was a cane, but how else do you get it on the market? You gotta describe it as something. So we're a medical device, we're accepted as a cane. We're accepted now. When they first came out with it, people were writing horrible reviews on us, like two and one and stuff like that on Amazon. Now it's up to almost five. And you can appreciate the fact that being number 10 in there, hey, the posture cane works. We now have millions of people all over the country that are using the posture cane. Guess what? I didn't make them, I didn't make a penny on them. A lot of people knocked them off. If people were honorable and less prone to making the money and also working with the people who are the inventors, which they do not do, the transition assist device is the exact same biomechanics, only it's a closed model. Sitting down in a chair, you can sit like this, put it between your legs, turn it around, and pull yourself up. Occupational therapists tested this with 25 patients who could not stand up, but they could walk with a cane. So I showed them a technique on how to do it. This is using the posture cane. They still haven't got this thing right, even in the ads that are done. My licensee now is officially ended on the 31st of December, this past December. And I am in control of control with regards to what's going on in terms of whoever's manufacturing or whatever. I haven't figured out what exactly what I'm gonna do. But we are working with a huge medical modality that is very interested in my biomechanics. This may be an opportunity for you guys to actually do a review on this product before it even comes out. We are looking right now for US. Uh, Korea is very interested. Japan is very interested. The Chinese I'm working with are very happy that we're getting back to doing the stuff we were doing before. They know the biomechanics works. That's why a Chinese patent attorney is working with us in terms of getting Chinese patents on everything new that I'm working with. We're working on the biomechanics for wheelchair handles, for rollators. There's a whole new rollator I'm working with right now with a manufacturer. The sample should be in probably within a couple of weeks. But remember this guy. What we're doing is for completely different biomechanics. It's not a cane. It's a transitional assistive device. And I'll tell you, this tip was already tested in a swimming pool and I tested a like 45 degree angle that I'm leaning at right now. It's not going anywhere. And I, my son thought I fudged it, but I didn't. I accidentally started to fall in the pool. I had this on the end, I was gonna test it. It stopped me from going in. I didn't fudge it, Chris. I really didn't, just to let you know. Anyway, if you're really interested in terms of doing reviews, why don't you do a review on the newest technology that's not even out there yet? Okay, you can look me up on YouTube as the eccentric inventor Ron Campbell. You can Google me on Ron Campbell, who's the inventor of the posture cane, who invented the Campbell handle technology and the biomechanics. I did. Okay, maybe old and I got cheated out of a lot of money from people that obviously have knocked my product off. But my wish has always been to make people safer, and I did that by the millions now. May not have made a lot of money, but it's time for me to do that. I just turned 80, and now I want a nice little, one of these companies should buy me a nice beachfront place in Belize and Amber Bees King and make me happy. That'd be nice, I think. Or you can buy me a nice condo down there. Call uh, Rachel Jensen at Lunar Realty on Amber Bees K. She knows what my dream is. Maybe it's time you guys get it for me, okay? Anyway, I want to bring you up to speed because nobody else knows about it. Nobody else has the rights to it. And... I'm about to defend my properties, okay? So thank you for taking the time to see the video, but if you guys would like to do a review on it, um, that'd be fine with me, okay? Thanks guys, take care now.